So what is an exponential entrepreneur? Look, what is it that they do differently? Why are they classified as exponential? Understanding that to be exponential, you need to be at least 10 times uh, greater, faster, better, cheaper than your peers. And we're using technology as a big lever to achieve this, especially AI that's coming in now. So I thought, look, a way of describing this or showing this to you would be to look at an exponential entrepreneur, one who's very successful, and I chose Elon Musk. So let's just take a look at some of the things Elon's doing and has done to understand why we say he's, he's exponential. He started with a payment system, PayPal, and took it digital then to, to leverage the internet. And that was sold, and very successful. It hasn't grown much since he left, I must tell you, and uh, perhaps it should have been further down the track than it is. He's then gone to putting a man on Mars. Okay, so SpaceX, he's looking to already, as you understand, taking launching rockets. He's auto docked with the space station. He's taking payloads up. It's already in a profit zone. So that's unbelievably 10 x All right, so the next thing we can look at is um, from, from that, we can look at Neuralink, which is connecting the brain to the internet. He's looking to help with medical problems to start with. So Neuralink's gonna be linking up with the synaptic gap to uh, into the internet and to AI to help people who've had perhaps strokes, who've got limb disabilities, uh, and various disabilities linked to the brain that he can actually reactivate the brain and help them. Obviously looking down the line to fully integrate us with AI as far as our extension of our knowledge um, and the ability to utilize the internet with our brain. So. The next one we're going to think about is electric cars. We talk about Tesla, and we're going to be talking about how he's automated Tesla and how he's, he's utilized the electric car. In fact, he's on the million-mile battery. So he's going to put everybody out of business with batteries. He's, he's very, very, very clever at this, as where well. his strength lies as an engineer. And you can understand how that's really 10 xing things again. The totally disrupting industries. Understand that disruption is... Is, is different to competition. In competition, you're innovating in incremental, incre and you're trying to get one up on your competition. When you do something that's exponential and you disrupt, you actually destroy, you make something obsolete irrelevant because it cannot compete. The horse and cart couldn't compete with motor vehicle. And to, to start with, they had a road that could cope with both, and they were trying some of the, to, to use both. But obviously the, the car took over, and the horse and cart have gone. And you know, this is happening time and time again. You've got electric cars now that are both electric and, and fuel-driven, and those are going to become obsolete, and we're going to go, I think, to electric. Um, the other thing he's looking at doing is Solar City, what he's done. Solar City is obviously solar power, and that's, that's profitable. Tesla has just turned profitable, and so has um, SpaceX. So these are exceptionally powerful platforms that he's built, um, and exceptionally powerful uh, ideas that he's put into practice and has made possible. So, hey, I'm John Harris, and this is the Exponential Entrepreneur Academy coming to you from my home office. I recently watched an interview with Elon on the Joe Rogan Show, and it was very interesting for me to understand some of where he's coming from that you don't often hear about. He's giving up on his own properties. He's looking to, he's renting now. He's starting to, he's always looking at how he can, he himself can grow, how he can grow his knowledge and grow his ideas, and how he can change the individual. He's living, he's talk, walking his talk. So he's changing the way he's looking at things. Um, he's adapting to how the new world order is trying to make things, but he's already ahead of that program. So he, he often says that, you know, you need to look at technology in a way that is going to help humanity, and these are the two key drivers for him. He's using Tesla to help save the Earth in that it's trying to use a re, you know replenishable energy. It's trying to save the pollution, cut down on the pollution and so forth, and he's looking to save humanity by going to the stars and giving us a second option, somewhere else where we can live. So he's got a big... Big key driver. He has a massive MTP, a, a massive transformative purpose. And we've spoken about this in Exponentials, where you need that massively transformative purpose to drive your business. That is something that other people will be attracted to. And if it's a moonshot, the bigger the better, the more attraction you're going to get to it. And then obviously people will find their own position and place within that ecosystem. So when you do that, there are various things that we've spoken about that you need to be adhering to. And I'm just going to go over some of the list. I made some notes here of some of the things when you look outward and you look inward as an exponential organization. And Elon has got a lot of these in his companies. When you look at um, some of the outward-looking things, you're looking at staff on demand we spoke about. 
We spoke about the community and the crowd building a fanatic a community. We talked about algorithms, uh, leveraged assets, and engagement on the one side, looking out. Looking inwards, we're looking at interfaces, dashboards, um, experimentation, autonomy, and social structures within the organization for staffing to communicate within a social manner. So these, he's got a lot of these things, and of course he works very hard, okay, and he expects everyone else to work very hard, but it's all paying off now. And it's a great success story, and I hope if you want to understand exponentials, you look at some of his organizations, some of his companies, some of his ideas, and see how it is that he's transformed them and he's 10 x them. And that will give you an insight into some of the things you can start to look at and how you can go about changing your ideas into something that can also be exponential. Remember, we always talk about an enterprise, a large organization, and an expert. You have your own information. You can 10x yourself by getting out through technology your message to the known connected planet. You, it has huge power now. You can do these things for a very reasonable cost. So it's the expert and the enterprise. Those are two things that you can look at as an individual or as a big organization. Remember, you can like, follow, subscribe, and we're going to give you a link below. If you go to it, you will see the full interview that we've spoken about on the Joe Rogan Show with Elon Musk. It's really worth looking at, and we'll see you in the next episode.